So people talk about bravery in the boardroom all the time to me, um, but as we were just saying before we press record, we are co-founders. So, and I know you don't normally like being in front of the camera. So my question that I want to ask you, and I know that everybody wants to know, you as a white middle-class white man, why did you want to get involved with Bravery in the Boardroom? Why did we have that conversation? Um, well, the main one was just fed up with people pretending that they're interested in equality and diversity and inclusion. Um, won't name names, probably look on my LinkedIn and see, but I uh, used to work for a company that were awarded the National Equality Standard by Ernst & Young. And it said that they were representative and they were diverse and they were inclusive. And they weren't, like you look at their board, they had no women, they had no people of color, they had nobody represented in their organization, but they got a stamp to say, mm. you're an equal and diverse employer. And then just so many horror stories from the NHS, like, ho like horror stories. If you've worked in recruitment and executive search for six or seven years, you just can't avoid them. You know, people saying, I really just want to find a woman for this role. Oh, I really just need to find someone from a diverse background for this role. Oh, we only want to shortlist people from here. Oh, actually, I've already found my candidate. And I just think it needs to stop. Mm. So we had that chat and then we were like, what are we going to do about it? And then I think the word that we came up with was movement. Yes. Yeah. Gotta make a movement. <laughs> yeah. And what what is... I know the answer to this in a way, but you know, to hear you explain your why and to ex hear you, like you said about the power of the movement, I think when we get asked, you know, what is bravery in the boardroom and we say, it's a movement, what are we talking about? I think it's like a collective of people that acknowledge the same thing, mm. actually talking about it in a safe public space to try and drive action and change towards the situation. Because I think again, like, there's enough kind of words and enough kind of hit like spiel that keep people give about it, but then who's actually taking actions. Um, and I think one of the, like the examples that we've had in our first year of Braving the Boardroom was we did the, um, the podcast or the sort of webinar with the guys over at um, Coventry and Warwickshire Partnership Trust. Well, that's an amazing example. You've got Mel and Jag over there with non-executive directors like Bal, who've really driven it through their organization are just part of their organization is you've got to, it's not even be diverse, just it's part of running a good business is to have mm -hmm. diversity. Mm -hmm. And then I think in my, um, in my own businesses, it's the greatest strength that we've got, that we're all different, that we've all got different diverse opinions, that we're all from different demographics, that we're all from different, you know, sexual orientations or other, other protected characteristics. It's about getting a team of people with intersectional characteristics and it doesn't matter where they're from or what colour their skin is or anything like that. It's just getting a diverse team of diverse thought because that's how you become successful. So mm -hmm. I think in the NHS, instead of just like trying to tick boxes about diversity, it's part of what's actually going to make hospitals more successful mm -hmm. is by having diverse and representative boards that run the hospitals. So I think, I don't know, we all agree on it. I just think no one's actually saying it in a, in a way. And then the last thing I would say is, if you're good at building brands and you're good at building businesses, then why don't you just build a brand for something that's important? Yeah. So that's, you know, what we did. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> you probably Thank could. You. Probably could. <laughs>